Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Devin and thank you for coming to visit. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification right next to it so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So I'm going to a Halloween party tonight. I'm super excited about it and I'm going to go really basic and be a ninja, but we're going to do a spin on it and we're going to change the whole face. Like the face is what's going to make the costume. So the rest of this video is going to be a voiceover just so I can really focus on what I'm doing and make sure it comes out really good. And of course, all the products and everything I use will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Bye. So first things first, we're gonna prime my skin with my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. Next, we're gonna get into brows, and today we're gonna use a black eyeshadow to make our brows super dark and super crisp. Next, I'm going to do foundation, and I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation today. Now that my brows are finished, we're going to go in with our white LA Girl Pro Concealer, and we're going to blend that out all over each of my eyes. Next, I'm going to jump into my Jackie Ina X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm going to use the shade Ginger as a transitional shade. Going back into that black eyeshadow now, I'm going to start building up the smokiness of my crease. And here it got a little messy for me, so I had to wipe it all off, and I ended up wiping off all my foundation on that side of my face. So after fixing my foundation on that side, I grabbed some scotch tape and I'm going to use that to kind of line the outside of my eyes and catch all the black shadow that's going to fall down. Next, I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. eyeliner, and I'm going to use that to really deepen and make the corners of my eyes super, super black. And we're going to use a small defining brush to start blending that out and building it up. Once the black is blended out, we're going to go back into the original black shadow and use that to set the liner in place. Going back into the Jackie Ina X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, we're going to use the shade Wigglies to start the red transition from the center of my eye into the black. After I've put Wigglies in place, I'm going to go in with this really pretty red glitter to intensify the color on my eyes. And I'm going to try to make the transition from the red to the black as smooth and creamy as possible. Once that's all finished, I'm going to go back in with my white concealer and I'm going to take a small defining brush and I'm going to line the underside of my eye all the way up into the black corner. Once that's in place, I'm going to be taking this white eyeshadow from NYX and setting that in place so it doesn't move. I'm going to head back in with my black eyeliner and I'm going to use that to line the top of my eye and elongate the inner corner of my eye while drawing around the white line I've currently created. I also want to create kind of a downward slash that kind of looks like it cuts right through the white so I just create a little down arrow on this corner of my eye. I think it came out pretty cute. Mm -hmm. 
And once that's done, I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other eye. After the liner's in place, I'm going to go in with a small defining brush. I'm going to smudge the bottom liner to drag it down and add some shading on the underside of my eye. Next, I'm going to grab my red lipstick in the shade F-Balm by Urban Decay. I'm going to use that to start the bottom portion of my face. So first things first, I'm going to be drawing the outline so I have a guide. After I have set my guides and I've drawn out the shape that I want, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest of the area with the red lipstick. And I mostly use the red lipstick because I didn't have time to run to the store and buy a paint pot. So I figured I'm going to try to do this with what I already have at home and I think it still came out really good. If you look at the very top of my description box, you're going to see a link to a video by a girl named Asane. I think that's how you pronounce her name. So I actually followed her tutorial to get this dragon inspired mouse for my ninja costume. So please click the link in the top of the description box. She does a way better job of explaining her process and her thoughts than I do. Plus she actually uses like paint pots and real face makeup. So you might want to get the products and stuff from her video. Once again, jumping back to Wigglies, I'm going to use that in a big fluffy brush to kind of set the lipstick in place so it doesn't transfer or move as much as possible. Here I'm using my eyeliner to kind of draw some pockets on the face and I'm kind of treating this like the inner mouth of the dragon if you will. So there's going to be portions that are more sunken in than others and I'm going to be lining the bottom part of my lip and then blending that out with a small brush. So originally I was going to use my white concealer for this step but I tested it out on my leg and it just was not working. So I went into my painting box and I grabbed my white acrylic paint, which I figured why not. And I've used white paint on my face for my Halloween costumes for years. I've never had a bad reaction. I've never broken out. I've never had any kind of crazy thing happen. So it's perfectly safe for your skin and face. Just, you know, of course, don't ingest the paint. <laughs> I think that almost goes without saying. So all I'm going to do is follow the curves of my mouth to begin placing the teeth and then I'm just going to continue it up the side of my face. Once that set of teeth is done, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom side under my mouth where I drew that really dark line and fill in all of those teeth. And I'm going to take each of those circles and draw a few teeth around each of them. I definitely feel like the more teeth you have, the better this looks. Um, so I really kind of went all out like Dasan did in her video. Dasan, Dasani, I'm really not sure how to say that. I'm really sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Once all the teeth are finished, I'm going to use my black liner. I'm going to start defining each of the teeth and kind of drawing around them. This will, one, clean up all the spaces that I might have messed up in between, but will also add some definition and some curvature to each of the teeth. Here I'm just adding a little bit extra liner just to add some depth on my bottom lip and then again going back in to blend that all out with a small brush. Next I outlined the top shape of my mouth and I'm going to use this to add some shading along the top just so it has a little bit more 
dimension so the teeth pop out more and the black will fade backwards. And I'm using a very small brush to get in here and detail all this out. And I'm going to repeat that to the other side of my face. After outlining all the teeth, I'm just going to go ahead and add the scales, if you will, that will kind of build around the rest of the mouth so it doesn't look empty or open. Now that all the scales are in place, I'm going to use that same tiny brush that I was using before. I'm going to go in to shade out those pockets that I originally drew on my face, just so they look sunken into my face. After that's finished, I'm going to go to every single line I drew and I'm going to smudge it out just so I don't have any really harsh lines on my face. And this is going to add some really nice dimension to this portion of my face so it doesn't look flat. Here I'm just adding a little bit more detail and adding just a white line with a black kind of outline to the top of the mask just to kind of bring the face up and down in the portions where I want it to go. And then I'm going to use a small brush to clean all that up again. Lastly, to match the mask, I'm going to fill in my nose and kind of add like a skull-esque kind of vibe. I'm going to go ahead and fill that in just with my black eyeliner. This is actually my favorite part of the tutorial. I found these really, really cute eyelashes at Walmart. They were $3 and they're silver and they're fluffy and they're sparkly and they were just everything I could have ever wanted. They're super perfect for Halloween. So I'm going to just pop those on. Then I'm going to be taking some old, really cheap eyelashes and I'm going to cut those into individual pieces and I'm going to use that to add some bottom lashes. And final touch, I added a little bit of Wigglies from the Jackie Ina palette on my nose. Alrighty guys, so this is the final look. This came out super, super freaking cool. So don't forget to click the link in the top of the description box. It's going to be the video where I got this dragon mouth inspiration. Please go give that girl some love. She's super creative. She's super cool. So I'm running late, so I gotta go. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel on the way out. It would really mean a lot to me. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.